here comes the woman who calls herself the man. The following contest is a last woman standing match. Making her way to the ring. Here we go. This match when you incapacitate your opponent so they cannot make it to their feet by a count of 10. That's right. No pinfalls, no submissions, no count outs or disqualifications, meaning anything goes. Superstars collide in this type of match when they can't get past their personal differences, when all other avenues have not produced an end result. Incredible body slam by Becky Lynch. Stomping down. She steers clear there. Oh, and a slam. Becky Lynch taking what she wants. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. Charlotte is showing some wear and tear here. Charlotte's got to do something quick. She can withstand the punishment, though. On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, you have to keep your opponent down for a count of 10, which oftentimes results in increased brutality and danger, Michael. Not over yet. To the outside. Running forearm! Oh, yeah, here's Charlotte. That's how you wear down your opponent. Pick the leg. Oh, man, that'll tear your hamstring. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Yeah, Becky Lynch may be slowing some here. This is where we find out how tough she really is, Cole. A match like this can be so exhausting, both mentally and physically. The Flair legacy grew at Charlotte's first WrestleMania, where the Raw Women's Championship was revealed. Charlotte styled, profiled, and walked out of WrestleMania with the gold. Everyone must bow to the queen, especially her opponent. Corey, you mentioned Charlotte's first WrestleMania. Winning at WrestleMania is already big, but she did so with Ric Flair in her corner, walking that same ramp as the Nate did so many times. Not to mention the fact that the robe Charlotte wore at WrestleMania was made from the very same one her father wore during his retirement match eight years earlier. Now that is some beautiful symmetry. Becky Lynch, and a back exploder. Charlotte's been forced into defense mode here. Yeah, Charlotte had no choice. At this point, I don't think she's going to have what it takes to be the last one standing at the end of this match. She's really going to need to reassess her game plan. Last man standing match. Nobody's leaving this one as friends. Now back to the ring. I have the best job in the world. I get to sit here and call action of the greatest athletes on the planet today. This might be the beginning of the end. Great match here, but if you miss any of the action from this week, just go to WWE. What's the queen got in mind now, Byron? Uh -huh. And that might be just enough to win. Charlotte just changed the momentum of this match. Three. Four. Man, this has been a great matchup. Once again, thank you for tuning into this great women's matchup.
Hold on. She wants to take this one to the floor. This is a last man standing match, and the physical punishment has begun to take its toll. Blair is showing her genetic superiority. The queen gaining momentum. Up and face first slapjack. chances in this one. showing up for competition like this. Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch. 